I've been thinking about doing Sunset Boulevard and people have mentioned it, you know, probably for the last 15, 20 years practically. Um, but I actually felt it was such a, I always thought it was such a big show. I loved the Broadway production, but it was such a spectacle. And given the fact that we're in an intimate theater, I wasn't quite sure how it would relate to being in a, a smaller 126 seat house. Um, but the more I thought about it, the more I thought the most successful things that I've done with larger uh, scale musicals are when I've really rethought the show completely and come up with a, a new way to present it. And uh, I realized that the story itself is actually a very small story, that it's really a chamber opera um, and not really such a big full-blown Broadway musical. Even though the production in New York was spectacular, it was really more about watching the, the sets dance than actually the, the numbers of characters in the show. It's actually most of the scenes in the show are broken down to two or, two or three people in one scene. Um, and primarily, most of it takes place at Norma De uh, Desmond's mansion. Um, so, but I did have to figure out a way that I would be able to, because it does go to Schwab's drugstore and it goes to the Paramount uh, back lots and uh, to uh, Cecil B. DeMille filming a, a biblical epic. So I did need to come up with a way to be able to present that. So my, my thought was, I came up with this idea that we would transform the theater into a movie house and that the company would be seated when the audience comes in watching a... Norma Desmond Film Festival, and uh, the entire company that is watching the, the festival actually act out the story of whatever happened to, to Norma Desmond. Well, I do think that there are a lot of moments in the show that people remember from the show and from the movie that I do need to be true to that uh, character that, that Billy Wilder created. Um, but. With that said, I'm still Dawn Sargent, and I'm going to do it the way uh, my interpretation of it. Right. So it will be me, um, but yes, I definitely will be paying homage to to that iconic character. For me, the most exciting thing uh, about it, approaching the material is seeing it in a new way. Yeah. To, to actually take something that is such an iconic show, big Broadway show, and then take it to... Um, something that we're not trying in any way to miniaturize what was done in New York. It is really a completely new version of Sunset Boulevard. Yeah. So that's what's exciting for me. For me, it is about playing the character of Norma Desmond and being able to sing those wonderful songs that Andrew Lloyd Webber uh, wrote. Uh, they're just gorgeous and they, I, I can't wait to sing them. <laughs> I'm actually most excited. I, one reason why I really like this part is because it's different than a lot of roles that I've gotten to play, and um, the challenge that comes with it, I think it was something I was really looking forward to. It's probably the biggest role you've ever played, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, Absolutely. You hardly ever leave the stage. Yeah, <laughs> very much so. The ironic thing about with working on this material is the, is, is real, the realization that the central character of Norma Desmond is really not on stage that much, but the, it goes to show you it's all about moments.